In nature, organisms exhibit a wide array of defense mechanisms to fight off predators and competition. From sea cucumbers shooting their organs out of their anus, to CRISPR-Cas9 mechanisms in bacteria and archaea, there are many unique systems in all organisms. A common defense system in gram-negative bacteria is the type 6 secretion system, also referred to as the T6SS, which fires toxic proteins into rival target cells. T6SS nanomachine is assembled from a number of subcomplexes created, created from a total of 14 different core components. These complexes consist of a cytoplasmic breastplate, cytoplasmic contractile sheath, membrane structure and expelled puncturing structure. T6SS action begins with the creation of a transmembrane structure that crosses both inner and outer bacterial membranes. The foundational base plate then binds to the cytoplasmic surface of this structure. Subsequent synthesis begins on the puncturing system made up of a HCP contractile tube with a VGRG and PAAR point. During synthesis, a contractile sheath surrounds the HCP tube. Once a particular signaling threshold is reached, the sheath contracts, driving the puncturing structure into a target cell, releasing disruptive toxic vectors stored in the HCP tube. After firing, components of the T6SS are disassembled with the help of an ATP degrading protein, CLPV with many of these complexes ready to be reused in a new subsequent T6SS firing somewhere else on the cell membrane. The firing mechanism of T6SS can either be defensive or offensive, depending on whether it responds to neighboring signals or not. Our main focus was Serratia marsins, bacteria which act defensively in response to attack signals. Dr. Colehurst and others investigate an offensive model of T6SS in Pseudomonas aeringosa, which fired at will, but we will be focusing on the former. The threonine 14 phosphorylation pathway, abbreviated to TPP, is used by the defensive bacteria to initiate attack on aggressive neighboring cells. The proteins involved in this mechanism are FHA, TAGF, PPKA, and PPA. PPKA is responsible for phosphorylating the FHA protein in the cytoplasm. TAGF resides in the membrane and prevents T6SS from firing. You can think of TAGF as the safety lock for T6SS, like you would have on a gun. If enough FHA is phosphorylated due to extracellular signals, TAGF oppression can be overcame, which allows the T6SS to activate and start firing attacking cells. After each firing event, T6SS is reorientated by disassembling the whole structure and reassembling it at a different location or orientation. This gives the cell higher efficiency of attack against other cells. Dr. Colehurst concluded that the FHA was the most crucial part of this all, as it was absolutely necessary for the T6SS firing function, and therefore absolutely necessary for the TPP pathway. She also made an interesting statement about the future prospects of her investigations. Type 6 systems are really widespread. They're found in a lot of gram negative bacteria, probably about a third of gram negative bacteria, and a lot of the important pathogens have them. So that's telling us it's quite an important thing you know, to work on because it's so common. 